Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, something a little bit different. I'm actually in the car park of the new AK Racing building. And yeah, my car is already dropped off here to get my new turbo done. Um, but because I ordered a new part, which I did mention in one of the previous videos, that that's kind of held up the turbo install. So I can actually tell you guys, and you would have seen from the title, I bought a new intake. So getting rid of this one, uh, it's been good, I actually love the sound of it, but thought with getting a new tune, a new turbo, um, I may as well get the sort of dream intake, which I have over here. So yeah, as you can see, I've got a titanium intake finally to match the rest of the titanium in the engine bay. So rather than that sort of silver polished aluminium pipe, there will now be titanium instead. So it should look really good. Um, unfortunately though, it means I get rid, so let's put this back down, it means I get rid of this one. Um, no longer will work, obviously, with the different routing for the blower valve, which will now be relocated to up the front here. Uh, but I do have a solution for that to get some more titanium going. But for now, yeah, um, I'm parked up in the car park here with the car and I want to get this intake on. So I'm going to have to remove a bunch of stuff and I did actually forget that I probably need to dremel this guy a little bit more to make it all fit. But for now, we should be able to get it on. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be using this factory, uh, sorry, I'm going to be using the Evolution by Design intake heat shield rather than this ETS supplied one, obviously, because that is a far better option. So yeah, might be running this one. And other than that, we have everything we need here. And yeah, we've got the um, MAF to pod filter adapter, whatever that's called. Um, one disappointment was, I believe with this kit, there's not many of them out there that I've seen. The only one I did see a photo of came with a blue pod filter. So I assumed I was getting this big K&N pod filter um, in blue, but they've sent me the normal colored one. So it's probably not gonna look the nicest considering I have been running a blue pod for a while. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can sort that down and um, get something in blue with this same size. But yeah, with that said, um, I've got some tools with me. Did actually also just have to pick up a new um, OEM MAF housing because my current intake runs an AEM MAF housing. So I won't be able to use that anymore. Um, but it means I can sell this entire intake and potentially the Uber Motorsports blow off valve pipe, which I kind of don't want to sell because it's discontinued, really hard to get, and I paid a lot of money for it. So I kind of want to keep it in case I have to get back to a traditional style intake, but I'll work out what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, with that said, I'm going to start pulling a few things off. So to get all the carbon off. I'm gonna sit this in the back seat so it doesn't get damaged. And yeah, we need to start getting this intake and blow off our piping off. So yeah, let's get to it. All right guys, so hopefully you can see pretty well. It's got the GoPro on my head. Um, so first thing I wanna do is just start getting a bunch of this stuff off. So actually this pod filter is kind of stuck. So I'll probably just leave it. So I think first thing I'll do Let's try and get the intake off itself. So I will remove this blow off valve. So tuck that down there out of the way. And I might get this line off the intake. Tuck that out of the way. And now I want to go down, I want to get the bottom bolt that's holding this actual whole intake piece on. And it should be pretty easy to just pull the whole thing off. Okay, so I ended up just removing the um, exhaust manifold heat shield just so I can get this down. You probably can't see, but just have a seven mil down there to loosen for the clamp that's going onto the turbo inlet. 
with that loose, potentially, now I've unplugged the Mac, this should, yep, there we go, come out. So, I'll just get the other line off. Should be able to now lift this out carefully. go there's the intake that I've been running that is off as long as you get my math sensor off here um, but yeah that's pretty easy just undo this one piece everything else is connected and because I don't need to reuse this math housing that's nice and easy so I can basically sell this entire piece now just without the math but yeah I'm um, going to keep my blow off valve, but obviously that's ready to go. Someone can just grab this, have themselves a nice sounding intake. It's been doing its job well. But yeah, time to go to something new. So yeah, you can see obviously the blow off valve location is going to be different. So rather than there, coming off to the side, otherwise pretty similar. Okay, so with the intake out of the way, we can get this heat shield off as well. So it's sort of a 10 mil bolt holding that on as well as the two little rubber grommets. Which will then allow us to get off our lower valve Piping. Okay, so that's that piece off. And I think we need a flathead screwdriver. And we can undo these clamps down here. Okay, so that is off. So yeah, unfortunately you can't run this one anymore, but it's a super nice piece. And that's gonna give us access to everything we need. So yeah, I might put the bottom blower for our piping that comes with the ETS on first. And then we can get down to our turbo after that and then connect the blower valve at the end. So yeah, I put this one in the car and uh, work out what I'm doing with it. I know a few people have already tried to buy it off me. Um, but yeah, super nice piece. All right guys, a bit of an update before I move too far along and kind of forget. Um, so I'm just been trying to work out how everything fits. So I'm pretty sure this is the way this blow off valve return um, line, like hose, will go on. So I've got the clamp down the bottom so I can pull that, slide that up and tighten it up. Uh, I need to probably slide it down a little bit more first. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to mock everything up before I go tightening. So took the blow off valve off. Um, so that line goes into the intake piping, that line goes in the blow off valve, but it relocates it, so I'm gonna need a new line, uh, which they do supply. So I had to take that off anyway. So I'm just trying to work out which sort of clamps go where. So yeah, worked out that this MAF housing one will go into this larger one. So it'll be that side in there, that side in there. And then this one obviously goes down into the turbo inlet. So this is a two and a half inch to three inch. So I will need a new one of these. This is only, I guess, temporarily going on the car now because once they, they're gonna have to pull this back off to put the new turbo on, um, but they're gonna have to go to a three inch all around because it won't actually go down. It'll be a three inch inlet on the new turbo anyway. Um, but yeah, so this one, I'll put gloves on also so I don't damage the titanium with my dirty hands. Um, but yeah, so this one will go down in there like that. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to get the clamps down on there and set up so that it's just nice and easy. But yeah, it's going to look good. It's not as glossy of a finish of titanium compared to the upper nickel piping. Um, 
but yeah, it still suits really well. So I'm going to, I guess, chuck the GoPro back on my head and I want to sort of do everything, just make sure it's right, and then I'll um, keep recording from there. So this now, I need to slide onto the turbo inlet, which it's, doesn't really like to go on there nicely. Try not to damage any lines on the way down. So something like that. So let's get our blow off our piping on. So that would go there. Blow off valve, I think. Goes like that. So that seems right so far. I have a blow off valve backwards, possibly. Check, I'll double check that, I think the blow off valve might go the other way. But yeah, double check, just wanna make sure everything else fits. So my catch can may be a little bit tight. So I didn't really think of it. I'm planning on changing this catch can eventually. Um, and to be honest, this side, it really catches nothing. It's mainly over here, the one that I need. Um, but yeah, let's... Um, this part yeah so this may not work with my catch can it's gonna swivel a little bit Tight. It's going to be very tight, I think. So I might connect the MAF to this housing, which goes like Okay, yep, so that goes like that. Onto there. All right, let's, um, yeah, I might just try and mock this all up first. So it's gonna be roughly something like this though. But yeah, I'll tighten this MAF housing to this. I can't remember what they call this piece, velocity stacker or something. Um, and we'll get this all as one piece. Should have a couple of screws. See, I'll tighten this up, attach it to our pod, and get the camera back up once it's done. All right, guys, so I didn't film for a bit because it actually started to spit rain. So you can probably see a little bit of rain uh, sitting on the car. It even came down onto me, so I kind of stopped. And yeah, ended up breaking on my gloves. So unfortunately, got sweaty handprints when the glove broke all over the intake. <laughs> so that was why I wore gloves in the first place and it didn't go planned. But I think I've got it pretty sorted. So I've got it, had a bit of trouble getting it to sit where I wanted it. It's basically sitting up against this sensor now, but I um, think it's okay. It's not touching anything. Um, and yeah, I've got basically, if I grab the pipe. So 
this guy can go straight on there. That down to that. Again, I still haven't actually looked to see if that's the way it goes. I think it is. But yeah, because it's low, uh, relocated, it kind of used to sit a certain way, now it sits the other way. But yeah, basically that's how it's going to be. We'll just put our um, map sensor on and we'll be done. And let's obviously need to reconnect some lines. So one down here it goes into this bottom one, which I'll do in a sec. And then I just need to, um, sorry, not this one. I need to sort this one, it goes into the blower first. So I think I just need to take this off the boost T for the, blow, uh, for the uh, boost gauge. And it's come down onto this. Um, but I think a lot of people relocate it to here. So I might just ask the guys here at AK what they reckon. It's gonna all come off the car anyway to get the turbo installed. I just wanted to get it on there. Um, as I wanted to film this video, it's something that I had sort of written down to film before I dropped the car off, but then the intake didn't arrive for quite a while. Um, but yeah, so this is where we're at. It looks really good. Um, so I need to pull the blow valve back off. Ah, sorry, I need to pull the pod filter back off, put the heat shield on. Um, so we'll do that. I'll get it all finished off and I'll show you guys how it looks. But yeah, sort of all right, guys. There we go, all finished up. So yeah, it was a bit of a mission with the catch cam. Probably wasn't really, it's probably just I didn't know it lined up properly, but yeah, took it on and off a few times trying to sort it out. And blow off valve, I think I have right now. I think I had it wrong the other before, but yeah, got that connected. I've got the line running underneath. I've got my catch cam lines running under the intake. I'm gonna tidy all that up at a later date, but for now, I just needed to go on just to basically come back off in a week or so when they put the turbo on, whatever that is. So, but yeah, basically everything's done. I um, really wish I had brought some sort of cleaning stuff with me because the engine bay is filthy. So I really would like to have cleaned this up. And yeah, really annoyed that I just managed to completely ruin the titanium finish on that before it got some heat put through it. So yeah, I'm gonna try and give that a wipe. I'm gonna ask the guys that got some, at least some, um, some glass cleaner and I can try and um, just wipe that off. But yeah, titanium always doesn't really pick up as good on camera, I've noticed, the the colours. But yeah, it looks amazing in person. That really flows well now. And I've got the huge pod filter. I've kept... This still needs to be trimmed a bit. Like, like I said, I should have dremeled this more. You know, I didn't think about it. But yeah, I've kind of positioned this all so the blow valve isn't against this. Um, but yeah, all can be changed, but it's on there seeing a bit of the titanium there so i can, can push this back further um, but i think i like it all the way there at the front out of the way um, and then that means that the heat shield isn't really rubbing too much on this so as you can see my api tray has popped up because it's not really down properly because this needs to be trimmed more but yeah so that is the finished result that's gonna be it for this video so hopefully the next time you guys see this car it is me picking it up from this new AK Racing warehouse and it's tuned and it's ready to drive and yeah, can't wait. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, definitely subscribe because there is so much content to come on this car. Um, we'll teach you red Evo over there and plenty of other cars, as well as a possible workshop tour of this new AK Racing. Um, once they are finished moving in completely and done, um, yeah, I'm going to do a walkthrough with the guys and they're going to show us exactly how much they've grown and how nice this new space is because it is really nice. But yeah, so um, that's going to be it. So definitely subscribe for all that. And uh, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.